Hi there, I'm Joan Newcomb. I'm doing a series of morning musings based on my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort. And today's is called Advanced Navigational Suggestions. I'm going to read the blog post and I may add some additional comments because it looks like I wrote this one in 2008 and the world has changed a lot since then. A lot of people are saying the same thing using different words. That's because some people will resonate with one way of languaging things and others will prefer a different lingo. There's truth in what everyone is saying. There's truth in every personal development system or spiritual growth technique. Just as in every religion, there's an essence of truth. And you'll find that many religions are saying the same thing, they just have different ways of saying it. It's because ultimately all ideas and impulses are coming from source, the universe, consciousness, and because it's all coming through human form, the truth is coming through that individual or that individual's perceptions. And so we'll always have a bit of limitation or distortion attached to it. As you navigate your own path, you'll find stepping stones along the way, bits of truth that will resonate with you in each experience you encounter. You'll also encounter limitations or distortions. Techniques or systems will work some of the time, but not all of the time. It will seem to work in one way, but won't really make you happy. If you do exactly as your teacher or leader tells you to do, you'll no doubt take on their energy, and that'll be a limitation for you. Ultimately, you have to find your own truth and your own connection to source. The universe, cosmic consciousness, all that is, your higher self, your expanded self, your God within, whichever you choose to call it. And when you do, you feel joyous, even if you still have all the same problems. Some advanced navigational suggestions for how to do this. Be in total acceptance with what is, no matter how frustrating or seemingly unlike your ideal scenario your life might be at this moment. The truth is, you are a source. You are your expanded self, and you're choosing to be here for the fun of experiencing the opposite of who you essentially are. You are immortal, joyous, unlimited, and you created this game of life, this adventure in density and effort, to see what it's like to be limited to feel an array of feelings, to play with a variety of individual personalities when they're all really just you. So even if you really dislike what's going on in your life, you, with a capital Y, are really enjoying it. The way that one would enjoy a dramatic movie or heart-wrenching soap opera. When you relax into acceptance with what is, you align with you and your perspective expands. Everything is inexplicably okay even when you're in the midst of bankruptcy, your spouse is philandering, your child's a delinquent, and your mother is saying, I told you so, like her life is so perfect. When you're in acceptance, you're in alignment with the you as the cosmic internet, the Akashic records, that is infinite intelligence. So obvious solutions suddenly appear in situations that previously seemed insurmountable. One way of getting into acceptance and that alignment is to choose to be in agreement with source, your higher self, whatever you want to call it. In so doing, you line up your ego will with the higher will. You align with your God self. It's not an intellectual choice, however. It's a gut decision, and it becomes a feeling that only you can put into words. For me, it's an energetic leaning back into unseen support. For others, it's a turning over the steering wheel. The problem with the image of turning it over or letting go is that it implies that it's something outside of you when really it's your inner being. It's like letting go of the effort that you've been using that's been keeping the steering wheel locked and you've been driving in circles. It's your negative thoughts, your gremlins and ego that are turning over the running the show to you, who you really are. And once you've done that, you haven't lost anything but frustration and pain. And instead you have gained everything. Keep your eyes open now that you've heard this. Ignore the automatic negative thoughts or judgments that might have arisen while you've been listening to this. Set aside the voice that says, yeah, I already know this stuff, and your life is still not working perfectly. Keep your eyes open because you brought yourself here to hear this. It's a stepping stone for you. Things are happening or will start happening to reveal more truth for you and give you more steps on your path. And if you watch other videos of mine, you'll find more inspiration. Go with what resonates with you. And remember to have fun with all this. And if unexpected things are happening in your life, leave me a comment. I'd love to read about them.
If you like these videos, please like them, please share them with others, and you can also subscribe. If you want to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. I have a coaching special on right now, and I also do individual sessions. If you're watching this on YouTube, all those links are below. I look forward to seeing you in another